there, my name is Jesse. I'm so happy you found this video because that means you want to learn more about spearmint essential oil and all the cool things that it can do. This video, I'm going to tell you 10 ways you can use spearmint. No, there are a ton of other ways. But we're going to talk about 10 of them within this video. But really quick, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please go subscribe to my channel. You can opt in to get notified when I release new videos. I know that every Thursday I release new videos. I'd be honored if I could be your essential oil mentor and work with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So if that's something that's interesting to you, then please reach out and we can talk more. There's a lot of information in the show notes so we can talk further. If you need shopping links, that's there for you. Let's talk about spearmint essential oil. Number one, I want you to use spearmint to help with your emotions. It's the oil of confident speech. So doing something as simple as breathing in that aroma of spearmint. You can put some drops in your hand, take some deep breaths, and it's going to help you have confident speech. I personally love putting a drop on the top of my head. And I like doing it before I teach a class, before I make a YouTube video. Think about before you have a big presentation at work or at school, put that drop of spearmint on your head and you are going to have that confident speech. Number two, I want you to use spearmint to help freshen your breath. You can do something as simple as just putting a drop on your tongue, or I call it sometimes doing the whoop whoop method where you take the lid off and then you just put a little bit. So less than a drop gets on your finger, dab it on your tongue, and it's going to instantly freshen your breath. I want you to put spearmint on your temples when you need help focusing. So if you're needing to really crank out some work, Maybe you need to get some stuff done around your house and you just need to focus. Maybe you're a student and you really need to get zoned in on doing your homework. Put those drops at, or put some spearmint on your temples. You're going to love it. You're going to get a little bit of a tingle and it works so great. Number four, if you're having respiratory discomfort in your body, try spearmint. Dilute it with fractionated coconut oil or unscented lotion and then rub that on your chest, massage it in your feet you're going to breathe easier. Number five, if your stomach is upset, use spearmint. Dilute it, rub it on your belly. You could add some drops to your water to help with stomach upset. You're going to be amazed at how much that helps. Number six, if you have a slower metabolism, try spearmint. So add a drop to your water, drink that throughout the day, and you are going to be shocked at how much that helps. I have to put in there really quick. If you're adding essential oil to water to ingest, make sure you put it in that water in glass or stainless steel, or ceramic. Don't put it in plastic. Okay. Number seven, if you are someone who is nursing a little human being, then you probably don't want to use peppermint topically on your body. And so this is me telling you, you could sub in spearmint instead of that peppermint when you're nursing because peppermint could decrease your milk supply. If you were to sub in spearmint, you're not going to have that happen. Number eight, I want you to add a drop of spearmint to your toothbrush with your toothpaste and you're going to have a minty fresh experience that is just going to make your mouth explode with goodness. Number nine, if you have not diffused spearmint, you are missing out. So I want you to play around with a lot of different diffuser blends, but my first one I want you to try is do spearmint and lime. Equal parts, diffuse that. It's simple. It's classic. It just does something amazing to the atmosphere and mood of a room. Then play around with other combinations of spearmint. It's so good. Number 10, use spearmint in your cooking. Oh, I love using essential oils when I cook because I live in the country. So sometimes if it's an herb, you know, like cilantro or basil, I just maybe don't have that in my kitchen and I'm not going to run to the store because it's a half an hour away. So then I'll look at my essential oils and I will do some I'll do some subbing that way and it works so well. Make spearmint brownies. Add a drop or two to any sort of dessert where a mint flavor would be appealing. Fun drinks. Oh my goodness, so many fun drinks. Go back to that spearmint and lime combo that I mentioned before. How incredible would a spearmint limeade taste? So, so good. So those are 10 ways. Only 10 ways to use spearmint. There are so many other ways that you can use spearmint. I would love to continue teaching more about spearmint. So if you're not working with someone yet in doTERRA as your one-on-one -on -one essential oil mentor, I would love to connect and help you get wholesale pricing. So whenever you order your doTERRA oils, you get 25% off. And then we can become buddies, more than just buddies through YouTube. But I'm so thankful that we are friends on YouTube. 
So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel so that we can continue connecting this way so I can be educating you through this channel. But if you're not working with someone, I would be honored to do that. Check the show notes for my contact information and some other fun links, and we will see you on the next video. Have a great day.